Hello, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will write a Java program to find all roots of a quadratic equation. I have already uh, written a, some uh, detailed explanation of how what the quadratic equation is and what, how we will find the roots. So, a uh, quadratic equation looks like something like this. It is like a x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and your a cannot be equals to 0. a is not equals to 0. Because if, if a is equals to 0, then if a we put a equals to 0 here, then this whole term will be 0. And if this whole term is 0, then we are left with only bx plus c, which is a linear equation. It is not a quadratic equation. That is why a cannot be 0. Because if a is 0, then we have no longer quadratic equation. So a have to be a non-zero any real number. And this is basically the formula of finding the roots. It's equal to x equals to minus p plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And if we separate both of them, our root 1 will be uh, the entire formula with plus sign over here. And root 2 will be the same formula with the minus sign over here. So over uh, here the minus sign. And all of, uh, and then there are three conditions based on those we will have three different kind of roots. The term b square 4 minus 4 ac which lies under the square root, this will decide. And this is called the determinant of a quadratic equation. So if the, uh, this will decide the nature of the roots. So if the determinant is greater than zero, then the roots are real and different. And if determinant is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. And if determinant is less than 0, then the roots are complex and different. Okay. And why is this so? Let me give you some uh, explanation. Determinant is b square minus 4ac. Okay. Let me write it b square. Okay. b square minus 4ac. I'm sorry. This is our b square. Okay. So if this b square minus 4ac is positive, which is greater than 0, then this will yield it, uh, some value and this will also yield some value and we will have root 1 and root 2. Both will be real and both will be different. But if this is equal to 0, then square root of this will also be 0 and square root of this will also be 0. So minus b plus 0 minus b it will be same and minus b minus 0 in fact, minus b same. So your both roots will be same. They will be minus b divided by 2a. Minus b divided by 2a. Because this both will be 0 and both roots are same. That is why it says if determinant is equal to 0, then your roots are real and equal. Okay, Equal means both roots are same. And then if b square minus 4ac is negative, and you must know that the square root of any negative number is impossible. That is why this will yield a in the form of iota, which is the uh, category of complex numbers. So, uh, both these numbers will be different and complex number, and we will take minus one uh, out and will assign i to it, which is iota, and which is again equals to square root of minus one. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, we need three values. We need value of a, b, and c, which we will. Uh, put in this formula uh, to calculate. So first take uh, three values from user. So we say uh, give a message. Sorry, we give a uh, message. We say enter uh, a. Enter a and we store it to variable a equals to reader dot next. Uh, by the way, let's take, let's take double variable, not uh, integer. Double is the floating data point, but it can store large uh, uh, floating numbers. Uh, next double, okay, and I will do the same for uh, b as well and then c as well, okay. So I'll say enter b and I will store it into b and over here I will store it into c and I will also uh, enter c, okay. So at this point of uh, uh, time, we have uh, taken three numbers A, B, and C from the user. 
now let's first calculate the uh, determinant so i again create a double variable uh, of a determinant equals to determinant is equals to b square minus 4ac so b multiplied by b is b square minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c this is uh, the determinant of the quadratic equation and uh, we we know these three conditions so let's go one by one okay so if uh, our uh, determinant is greater than zero then we will have two roots okay two roots root one equals to uh, minus b minus b plus square root of determinant for square root i will import a math library from import java dot length dot math okay and we will use the math library to calculate math dot sqrt square root of determinant if you see square root of determinant b square minus 4 ac is already calculated into this so we just need to insert determinant over here so determinant and divide this whole will be divided by this whole will be divided by uh, by 2 multiplied by a okay so this is your root 1 and this will be your root 2 you just need to sign minus sign over here and this is your root 2 okay and now we need to just print so print uh, print root 1 equals to root 1 and uh, same for root 2 equals to root 2 there we go so this uh, this condition will be applied if determinant is uh, greater than 0 but what if determinant is equals to 0 and in that case if else if uh, a determinant is equals to 0 then a root will be just b square or oh, minus b divided by 2a this will be 0 this will be 0 so we will have only one root minus b over 2a let's calculate that so our only root will be minus b divided by 2 multiplied by a so this will be the only root okay uh, so we can say when we print we can say uh the equal roots are or we can just say like this root one equals to uh, we can say root and plus equals to root two okay root two so both are equal so root one equals to uh, the value of the root equal to root 2 and in another condition in else where our uh, determinant is less than 0 we need to cal uh, calculate uh, uh, real part and imaginary part separately so real part will be minus p divided by 2a so i created double variable real i'm sorry i needed to assign uh, actually uh, data type to both these as well i forgot double data type this is also a double data type and double data type real equals to minus b divided by 2a okay this is a real part and our imaginary part will be imaginary part equals to okay uh, now since uh, for to calculate the imaginary part since our p square minus 4ac is already negative number so we need to multiply it by minus so that it becomes positive and then we will take its square root and divide by 2a okay so what we will do is we say math dot sqrt and determinant a minus minus determinant and this whole will be divided by 2 2a 2a okay so now since we have uh, both real and imagine number now time to print them uh, there is a function called print format this function but for now i will use this same to print uh, both rules so i'll say uh, 
root 1 equals to uh, this will be our real part plus plus and i over here and uh, imaginary part okay and then the same will be with a minus sign i think so far so good uh, let's give some values and see if uh, uh, uh oh i think i missed some uh, semicolons uh, let me check again if i missed anywhere else here as well and uh, i guess that's it let's run and see and this goes okay so a is 5 b is 2 c is 3 there you go with this we have got two uh, imaginary roots root 1 is uh, this with plus sign and root 2 is this okay also i need to give root root 2 over here okay okay let's run it again and this time i say our a is 6 and b is 3 and c is 4 and there we go we have got two imaginary roots with the same real and imaginary part just a different sign now this time let's get some uh, real roots for for real roots or this uh, determinant have to be z uh, greater than 0 and to greater than 0 we need to give some high value of b so i give uh, 20 value of b and let's say a is 2 and b is 3 okay if, uh oh why so uh, i'm sorry actually we need to uh, give high value of b because we want this value to be greater and this value smaller so that our eventually uh, this value becomes positive determinant becomes positive so i needed to give uh, the high value of b not a i'm sorry okay give some other values uh, let's say i give 10 not 10 i'm sorry 2 10 and 2 again and there you go you have two real roots okay you have two real roots when your determinant is i have printed the determinant over here you can see determinant is positive this time let's give some values where our determinant is equal okay to make it equal i will give a equals to 2 okay and i'll give b equals to 4 and c equals to 2 as well and there you go when your determinant is 0 you are root 1 equals to minus 1 equals to root 2 both roots are same and only there is only one root when your determinant equal to 0 so which shows that we have tested all three cases and our program is performing very well so i hope you have understood something if you have please subscribe my youtube channel and if you want i can walk you through the code once again what we have done is we have uh, taken a from the user we have taken b from the user we have taken c from the user then we have calculated uh, the determinant based on the formula b square minus 4ac and stored it into the determinant variable and then we have printed it which is up to you if you want to print or not um, and then we have uh, started our if else code and in if else we have checked if determinant is greater than zero which means our roots will be real two real and different roots so we have calculated root one based on the formula and for uh, taking square root i have imported the math library and i'm using the built-in math library function which is math.sqrt of determinant so based on these two formulas i have calculated root one and root two and finally i am printing them out and if determinant is not greater than zero and if it is equals to zero then there will be only one root which will be minus b divided by 2a and i have calculated it and uh, printed it and in another uh, third case when a determinant is less than zero then we will have complex roots and then we need to calculate two real and imaginary parts separately we have calculated real parts by minus b divided by 2a and for imaginary part math.sqrt we have multiplied the minus sign why 
because determinant is negative and uh, square root of any negative number is not possible so we need to multiply it by minus so that this will be uh, positive and so that we can calculate the square root and divide it by 2a so we have calculated the imaginary part as well and finally we are printing into the uh, complex format which is like uh, your real part plus i imaginary part your real parts minus i imaginary part and both roots are uh, conjugate to each other so that's it with this tutorial and i'll see you in next tutorial